Hey guys, Zach from Pile Digital. Uh, today we are going to be running through a new Pods Beaver Themer tutorial. Uh, we are going to be creating a testimonial slider. Uh, so we're going to be using custom post types, we're going to be using Beaver Themer, uh, and we're going to be pulling that custom post type into a module uh, using Beaver Builder. So what you're going to need to get started, you're going to need Pods, you're going to need the Pods uh, add-on for Beaver Themer, you'll need Beaver Themer itself, obviously, uh, and then you're actually going to need uh, UABB or PowerPack. Um, the stock modules for Beaver Builder don't allow you to create a custom layout for your posts, uh, and that's what we're going to need to be able to create this slider. So yeah, let's get started. The well, so let me show you what we're going to be creating. It's going to be something like this, uh, maybe not exactly, but uh, it's going to be a slider of testimonials. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is create a new pod. So let's create this custom post type. Um, it's going to be testimonial. Testimonials. And it's going to be pretty simple. Um, I'm going to use the title as the name. I'm going to give them a, uh, let's call it position. Uh, this could be company name, it could be their position. It's just a text field, so you can have it say whatever you want. I'm going to make that, uh, we'll make, no, we won't make that required. Um, the other thing that we're going to have is the actual testimonial itself. And we'll make it a paragraph text. That one is going to be required. Um, I think that's it. We're going to use the featured image as the image for the testimonial of the person. Uh, so I think that's it. Let's go into advanced options here and we're going to disable the editor, we're going to enable the featured image. Um, I think that's about it. Alright, so we've created our custom post type, it's right over here, testimonials. Alright, so let's say this is John B. Let's set a featured image. Let's go with this position. We're going to say company position and testimonial. Let's get some lower ipsum. Alrighty. I think that looks good. All right, so we'll publish that. Let's add one more testimonial. Um, gain R. Let's do this one. And we'll also do company position. And same testimonial. All right, so let's publish those. All right, so let's go make a page. It's just a, it can be anything. Uh, we just need a page to be able to work on. Test, test page. Okay, so let's launch Beaver Builder and we are going to create our module. Um, you can use either Beaver Builders, or uh, sorry, Ultimate Add-on Beaver Builder, uh, their advanced posts, or you can use a PowerPack module. I'm going to use PowerPack Content Grid. But either one will work. Uh, so we're going to do a carousel. Um, 
for our content, we are going to do a custom query and we are going to do testimonials. So we see that they've pulled in. Great. Um, number of columns. So we always only want to display one. So I'm going to change all of those to one. As you can see, it got real big. Um, Let's see, we always want them to be equal height, that way our content below the testimonial isn't going to be popping up and down. Um, let's change this to like 8 seconds so people have time to read the testimonial and then I want my slide to go for uh, the transition to be 1 second long. Um, let's see, we want to stop on hover. You can use lazy load if you have a lot, but having just, say, five is not going to be very taxing. Um, I'm going to keep the navigation dots. I'm not going to use arrows. Um, let's see. You can get rid of our background color. I don't want background color. Our overall alignment is going to be centered. Uh, all right, I think that is a good start. So this is what we have so far. So we've got our featured image, we've got their name, uh, and all this stuff down here we're going to want to get rid of and do custom. So let's pop in here and under layout, uh, in power pack you can select custom here. Uh, in ultimate add-ons I believe it's very similar. And so then we're going to be able to edit our custom layout. Uh, so this is what pops up here. And it's uh, not really what we want, but we can use it as a starting point. All right, so featured image. This right here is a conditional, checking to see if there is a featured image. Uh, there always is going to be one. Uh, I guess you wouldn't have to have a picture with it, but with mine there always would be. Uh, but that's what this is doing. So right here, we are going to we're going to do something a little different. Let's get rid of this. That was linked um, and it had certain sizes and stuff. We're going to come in here with using Beaver Themer. We are going to add the featured image via insert. Now we would get to select our stuff, so I'm going to use medium. I'm going to just do the URL. All right. So we are going to do. We're going to get rid of this up here, and we're going to do a bit of style real fast. So we're going to do a background image. I'm going to do a URL that's what we just populated down here. And we'll pop that in there. Um, let's also give this a class of test, test manual uh, image. Sure, why not? Can we get rid of that guy? And let's pop over into CSS and we're going to do a little bit of CSS for this guy. Um, we want it to be a width of, let's say, 250 pixels. That means it's also a height of 250 pixels. Um, let's see, what else do we want? Background size of cover and a background position. So, uh, for example, you can see when this guy um, slides back here, it's not a square. It's a portrait image, but we are putting it as a background image of a square. Uh, so we're going to want to make that um, center top. That way, when we crop it to a square, uh, it takes the, the top image, aka his face, um, I also want it to be a circle, so border radius of 50%. Okay, 
think that is pretty good. Let's see what we've got here. Sweet. All right. So we've got a good starting point. Um, let's pop back in here. One problem that we're having is it's being off to the left. Uh, so that means the display is incorrect. We're going to go inline block. So that should fix that. Um, what else? All right. So our title here, we don't want it to be linked either. So let's add in our post title. Uh, we do not need a date, and we don't have any um, we're not displaying custom taxonomy or anything like that. So we can get rid of that. Um, this separator here, it's not really doing what we want. Um, so let's just give it our own separator. Go in HR. Class of um, testimonial separator. All right, um, let's do border color of light, light gray. We'll do a border, border bottom, um, do two, no, no, border width, two pixels. Um, and we'll do a width of 15%. Go in. Spammers. All right, uh, let's do 10%. All right, see how we're looking. All right, not bad, not bad. Um, I'm going to add the separator, um, actually that's good, but I'm actually going to add another uh, guy here, I'm going to go H4 for this one, and unfortunately since we're not making an archive page, I uh, this guy is not going to be connected very well to um, pods. But when we go to insert, it's going to say no fields found for this pod page. Uh, you can just hit OK, and that will give you at least your, uh, your little guy right there. All right, so let's fill in. Let's see, what do we call that? Position? Leave. See if that worked. It did. Great. Um, but we're still getting rid of this class right here. Let's get rid of both of these classes and we'll give them both custom classes. Testimonial name, and testimonial position, right. testimonial name, testimonial position. Uh, let's give it a font size of I don't know, like twenty pixels. Okay, and we'll make this one like 20 pixels. Alright, looks pretty good to me. Um, Alright, 
So the last thing that we need is our actual uh, testimonial. So we can take this guy, paste it in here, and this will be testimonial. Great. Um, all right, what else do we need? We need to get rid of this link down here. If you wanted to make this, let's see, what do we need to do? Let's get rid of this. Um, Adding bottom of zero. Margin bottom zero. All right, let's use some negative margins then. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so width is, or this size is too big, so let's go down to 200, see how that looks. Better, maybe 150. Yeah, I like that better. Um, and then, well, maybe 180. Alright, um, let's do a border. Five pixels, solid, light gray. Five might be too much. Three. Cool, I like that. Um, we can get rid of all of this extra CSS here. Let's see how that looks. Oh, looks like our CSS a little extreme. Let's get it back to 20. All right, I like that. Uh, you can see if we squash this in here and refresh. Looks real nice. So we can save this module out. Save as module. Um, and we can just call this testimonial slider. Done. Um, you can publish if you want. We're going to end up deleting this page. Uh, and then you can just pop over to any page you'd like to add this slider into. Go to your saved modules. Got a testimonial slider here. You can see that we've got our awesome testimo testimonial module. Uh, what's cool is now that is pulling straight from our custom post type, and uh, those are right here. So if you have any questions, let me know. But I think that's a pretty cool way to create a testimonial module and have a client be able to come in here and quickly edit a testimonial, not having to go into Beaver Builder, not having to mess with any uh, settings, not messing anything up. Uh, and you really get to control the, uh, the way that they get put in. Uh, I guess one last thing to point out is Inside of that module, you can decide what order they show up in. Um, it defaults to the newest one first, um, but you can decide that inside of that module. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But uh, yeah, have a good day and get out there and build something cool. Thanks, guys.